Hey, it's Emily. Can we have a heart to heart real quick? I just wanted to let you know that I see you and gosh, I know that you've tried every diet and you're just over dieting in general, right? And maybe you've been a long time listener of the show and have implemented some of the habit hacks I've shared here, but you just haven't been able to be consistent due to, well, life and overwhelm. It's not your fault your habits haven't been sticking for you. You just need to do them differently. You need a habit strategy catered towards you, a busy working mom who knows the value of taking care of her health, but you just need a simple system to create habits that don't feel overwhelming and give you back the energy you need and deserve. So it's time to take action and this is it. You know, my years of being a fitness professional and training moms in particular, I saw a gap between Knowing, you know, that we need to work out, eat healthy, and talk nice to ourselves, and actually doing it. Our day-to-day life is just so unexpected due to the invisible load that we carry that it has just been impossible to make your healthy habits stick. That's where the Healthy Habits Accelerator pod course comes into play. I created my signature program with you in mind, ensuring you'll finish it. It's an audio course, and I know you'll be able to complete it on the go in the car pickup line or even taking a shower. In just 10 episodes that you can easily binge in just a day or two, you'll leave with a 21-day plan to build momentum in your habits and Feel good in your favorite leggings too. And this is all without dieting. Now, this is higher level habit strategy where we dig deeper into my atomic habit hacking system for women to address diet culture mentality, emotional eating, time, and family challenges with food, chaos, disorganization, confidence, self-care, consistency, and sustainability in your workouts and time and convenience habit hacks, and so much more. This is based off of research, client testimonials, and conversations with you all as far as your biggest healthy habit challenges that you have. We will cover it in the pod course. Plus, I just added two bonus trainings and 150 habit loops to help inspire you to create your own. And we even do bi-monthly group coaching calls when you need my eyes on your habit loops to help you continue taking action. Now, you'll leave with my Habit Hacking Trifecta 21-day plan that is going to give you the confidence that you can make your habits stick and train for life and really just fall in love with the process of making your health an automatic habit that you don't even have to think about even more. And since I love my podcast listeners so much, and to celebrate you, I want to give you $20 off of the Healthy Habits Accelerator pod course. Just go to bit.ly slash healthy habits pod course, and just use the code podcast at checkout to get $20 off. It's linked in the show notes for you as well. I am so rooting for you, girlfriend. Okay, let's get into the show. Hey girl, do you wish you could make your healthy habits stick, but life keeps getting in the way? Are you tired of diet culture telling you to shrink yourself when you'd rather just find true food freedom, move your body for joy, and feel and look good in your favorite leggings? Then you're in the right place. Think of this as atomic habits for women. Hey, I'm Emily Nichols, habit and fitness coach, millennial mom, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. I'm here to tell you there is an easier way than what we've been taught about health and our habits. How do I know? Because I've gone from former chronic dieter to habit hacker through the power of this system that I'm now going to teach you so you can finally stop dieting and just train for life via your habits. Remember, it's not your fault your healthy habits haven't stuck. We just have to do them differently. Are you ready to have it hack your health? Then let's do this. You're listening to episode 259 of Habit Hack Your Health. Hey girl, welcome back to the show. Can you believe we are well into Q2, quarter two of the year? I can't believe it. This year is absolutely flying by. And if you remember, at the end of the first quarter, I did a quarterly breakdown for you and some habits to help you do a quarterly breakdown as well. 
Well, for my own accountability purposes and really just to be vulnerable and give you a behind the scenes look at what I'm working on every quarter, it's time for me to share, like I said I would in quarter one, my quarter two breakdown. How did it go? What did I achieve? What didn't I achieve? And how can habit hacking strategies help you stay on track for your goals throughout the year? You know, we set these huge goals sometimes in the month of January. We have just such the best intentions for ourselves. And if you're like me from the past, a lot of times I never revisited them, right? Or I kind of had them in the forefront of my mind. I was working on the bigger ones, but some of the other day-to-day ones, they kind of just were like out of sight, out of mind. And doing a quarterly check-in is a great way to see how things are going, if these goals still really align with your values and what season you're in with your life right now, and help you give, give yourself some insight on if you should pivot your strategies. Now, your daily habits are a great way to reverse engineer your way to meeting your goals, right? And using a lot of the strategies that we talk about in particular in regards to health here on our show, since that's my main focus, you can also apply these to professional goals, personal goals, family goals that you have in your life as well. So this is not just in the realm of health. This applies to everything in the daily habits you're doing every day to reverse engineer yourself to reach your goals. So let's talk about some of the habits and goals that I set for the first quarter. You can go back and listen to 243 to hear me break it down even more. So I talked about in quarter one, doing my devotional Monday through Friday. I did a pretty good job with this and really have been leaning into how I feel afterwards, the reward part, right? Um, I wanted to have my yoga t- training done. I didn't have it done by the first quarter, but I get, did get it done at the end of April. So this is something I'm super excited about. I'll be sharing more opportunities about how you can flow with me either virtually or in person if you're local. Um, another habit I was working on and goals for that matter in Q1 was working on our monthly budget with my husband and end of the month business expenses. And we've been hit or miss with this still to tell you the truth, especially with vacations and crazy travel this summer for my husband. And I got a couple of months behind on doing my end of the month stuff. But we're back on track now, which is okay. I'm more movement. I got my walking pad, my standing desk, and this has just been a game changer. This is just a total unconscious habit for me now. Now let's talk about the quarter two habits and goals that I had set for myself that I shared with you in my last quarterly update. So for Q2, April through June, I wanted to continue with the same habits, but finish my yoga training and look for teaching opportunities. So boom, we got that done at the beginning of this second quarter. So that's great. I reverse engineered this by having some deadlines set on my calendar, some tiny habits throughout the week where I was studying. I set aside time on the weekends to film myself teaching different yoga flows that I had to submit for my certification, and I felt really proud that I got that done. So I'll be announcing where I'll be teaching soon and give you more information on that as well. Also, we need to get back to consistent budget meetings, my husband and I, as far as like continuing our habits from before. We always usually do that on Sunday, and honestly, our Sundays have been a little crazy, so we need to maybe think about creating a habit of a backup day, right? We teach in our programs always having a backup plan. That way, you just don't completely forego the habit because life ultimately (laughs) will get in the way. Um, my other habit or my goal that, excuse me, that I had set for Q2 was apply for the Hot Works competition. I did. I didn't make it through. So I'm closing that chapter and that's okay. Now, um, my other goal that I had was to maybe put on a fitness program that goes along with my habit strategy course because many times... When I'm working with one-on-one clients, we do these really great habit strategy calls. We have some specific action items as far as habit loops and habit tracking and accountability from me. But a lot of times when it comes to working out, I've been finding the women I'm working with are not really following a plan. And being a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor since 2016, this is obviously my area of expertise. And I've done some virtual 
um, training and virtual fitness in the past, but I'm thinking about for this next quarter, I want to take it to the next level. So I didn't do anything with it this past quarter, especially with the summer months, giving myself a little extra grace with it being off schedule and my boys being home. This is something that if you're part of our Facebook community, if you're part of my email list, I'll be sharing a lot more information and behind the scenes info there. And I'll share more here on the podcast, but we're hoping to launch something later in September via an app maybe to help us work out together a female focused workout plan with a ton of habit strategy, a plan you can follow where you'll see results from the inside out. I can't wait to help you do this. I'll share more when we get there, but just wanted to tease that for you. Now, a lot of things have been pushed to quarter three, right? I said, you know, I wanted to do maybe a fitness program. I pushed it back. I got some habits or goals done from quarter one and quarter two. So what what does quarter three look like for me? Well, that fitness um, app opportunity, teaching yoga is a goal I have set for myself. Also, I've been, I don't know if you've ever known this about me, but I've also been a fundraising professional for over 10 years. Um, That's where I started in climbing the quarter corporate ladder, and I left for quite a few number of years to um, focus on my kids. And while I was focusing on my kids, I was teaching group fitness and getting the podcast going and coaching clients, and none of that is going away. I've always had my toe dipped in fundraising as a consultant over the years, and I'd like to just pursue this a little bit more as well because I really like it and the challenge of it in a way that makes sense where it doesn't take away but adds to our lives as well. And then lastly, continue our budgeting habits in Q3. So how am I going to do all this? I'm going to do this via my habit hacking strategies I teach inside of my signature course, the Healthy Habits Accelerator. I'm going to do this via holding myself accountable by sharing this with you every quarter. But as a reminder, I want you to, if you're sitting down to do a quarterly audit for yourself as well, some questions to ask yourself as you're doing this is, what season of life are you in? Like I mentioned, summer is a off season time, if you will, where maybe it's a little busier. Maybe I want to slow down a little bit. I know my podcast listens are always down in the summer. People are traveling. So I kind of back off a little bit in the summer because I'm like, it doesn't make sense for my audience and for me to be launching something in the middle of the summer, but it's a great time of year for me to be working on behind the scenes stuff, for example, right? So ask yourself, what season of life are you in for this next quarter? Next, have some habit loops on your calendar to remind you to do it, right? You can actually create some habit loops, remember a cue, routine, reward, or even just write these quarterly goals somewhere where you can visually see them every time and have that habit strategy in place to help you then take action. Next, ask yourself a very important question are these habits and goals that I've set for myself serving my values, my habit identity, right? Who I want to be and how my habits will support that person I want to be. If who you are in Q3 is different than who you were in January of this year, that's okay. You can pivot and change that. Next, are you using habit strategies like tracking? Habit tracking will be a great way for you to see progress over time as well. I'll be implementing this for myself personally, as I'm getting this fitness program launched later this fall for you all as well. Use the facts of the habit tracking. Use your habit identity and see if those two together, you just need to pivot your habits, right? Both of those together is a killer combo to tell you the truth, to tell you a key indicator if you should keep moving forward or not. And give yourself some grace if that's the case. It is a okay if that is not serving you anymore. You can always pivot. You know, what you set in January doesn't have to be set in stone, right? And then lastly, celebrate, right? The last part of a habit loop is the reward part. And a lot of times, as we talk about a lot, that's the hardest part for us ladies sometimes. So celebrate yourself for achieving those goals. You know, I was super excited that I got my yoga teacher training certification done. I put it off. I put it off. I finally got it done. And I was so excited and celebrated myself and my husband celebrated my kids. It was just super great. And it feels good. It feels okay to celebrate yourself sometimes, right? So if you need some one-on-one help, I do have a couple of openings for one-on-one clients. If you just need a quick call with me and a schedule audit to create some customized habit loops for you, or maybe some suggestions on working workout programs for you as well. 
based on your season of life and what you need right now, go to the link in my show notes if you need some help and to take action. Okay. So I am rooting for you. I want to know if this episode was useful for you. So let me know over on Instagram. You can even just shoot me an email. I love chatting with you all in regards to like, if you hear an episode and you're like, gosh, this quarterly audit was so good. I need to be able to implement this in my own life. Please let me know, or even just leave a review of the show. It lets me know that these episodes are ringing true for you and that you are making an effort to have it hack your life via what you're learning on this show. It's about tiny little steps, 1% better every day. And sometimes it's a matter of taking a step back, reverse engineering your goals via your habits and watching it snowball from there. (laughs) All right, girl, I'll catch up with you later this week. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you are ready to take action in creating your own habit loops, then I want to invite you to take the three-day habit loop bootcamp email challenge. You'll learn how to create your own cue, routine, and reward from the Atomic Habits for Women philosophy that we've shared here on the show. And oh, it's also available audio only too. So you can take it on the go while your mom Ubering around town. Just go to bit.ly slash habit loop boot camp. It's linked in the show notes as well to start taking action now. And if you love the show, the biggest way you can support me and other mamas like you is to leave a quick written review so we can help more mamas stop dieting and start training for life via habit hacking. Love and appreciate you.